In this video, I'm going to talk about how to measure voltage and current in multisim. We're going to start by building a simple circuit. We'll put down a DC power supply here and two resistors. One resistor here and one resistor over here. I'm spreading this out because I want to give myself lots of room to work because I'm going to have a, several voltage and current probes in here and I don't want them to be kind of right on top of each other. All right, now that I've got the components that I want to use, I'm going to connect these components together. So I'll click on the terminal of one component and then click on the next terminal to connect these two components together and then do that again over here. And then for this last one, I'm going to come over here and click there to anchor the wire there while I uh, move around and connect it back to the power supply. All right, so this is the, the basic shape of the circuit that I want to create. Now I'm going to change these resistor values here to make this a little bit more interesting. I'm going to make this 100 ohms, and I'm going to make this one 300 ohms. So I just click on the component value there, uh, click in this little spot up here, and then type in the number that I want. Now we see that those values have updated on the sheet here. Now what I want to do is I want to measure the current in the circuit. So I'm going to come over here to um, analysis and annotation. I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose a current probe. I'm going to click that and put that right on my circuit. And now that will measure the current at that particular point in the circuit. Now you'll notice that right now there's no current showing. And that's because I'm not doing a simulation right now. In order to actually get a current measurement, I have to run the simulation. So I come up here and I click on the play button to run a simulation of this circuit. When I do that, I see that there are 30 milliamps flowing through the circuit at that point. Okay, and I can measure the current at other points as well. So maybe I want to measure the current right between the two resistors. So I could put a current probe right there and then I'm measuring the current right exactly at that point. Remember, current is like the amount of electricity flowing through a, or current is the amount of electricity flowing through a wire. It's like the amount of water flowing down a river. So let's run this again. Now we see that the current measured at this new spot is also 30 milliamps, just like it was up here. And thinking about electricity kind of like water flowing down a river helps us to understand why these two currents are the same. Um, if this was a river, the, elect the water would only have one path to travel down. So if you had, say, 30 gallons of water per minute flowing past this point, it doesn't have anywhere to go except here. So all of the 30 gallons per minute flows through here and continues down here. So we have 30 gallons per minute down there. And if we measure the current at this location down here, we should see the same amount of current again because the current still only has one path to travel down. So all of it should go through that point as well. So let's run the simulation and find out. Sure enough, we see 30 milliamps at that point as well. So that's how we can measure current in multisim. We can also use multisim to measure voltages. So we come back here to a uh, analysis and annotation tab, and this time we're going to choose a voltage probe. Now, I can put the probe here, but remember voltage is always a difference between two places. If we're talking about water, voltage is like the difference in height between two spots on a, a river. So we, we put the probe there, and that's one Point, but we also have to choose the second point where we want to measure the difference so that we can find the difference between those two points. So to place down the second probe, I have to come here and click where it says V minus. 
And you'll see if I hover over that, there's a little note that pops up that says Add Reference Probe. So I can click here, and then that allows me to add a reference probe to somewhere else on my circuit. So I'm going to choose right here and add the reference probe right there. Now when I run this simulation, we should be able to see the voltage there. So we can see that there, this probe is measuring 3 volts. That means that there is a 3 volt difference from this side of the resistor to that side of the resistor. And we can measure voltage in other places as well. So for instance, we could come over here and measure voltage between there, and then we'll add a reference probe over on the other side of that resistor. And now when we run this, we can see that there is a 9 volt difference between this side of the resistor and that side of the resistor. And when we're talking about measuring resistant, or a difference in voltage between two sides of a component, we call that the voltage across the component. So we can say that there are 9 volts across this resistor here. Okay? So there's 3 volts across this resistor and 9 volts across this resistor. Again, if we're thinking about the water analogy, we might say that there, the water drops 3 feet across this resistor and then it drops a further 9 feet across this resistor. So we could measure voltage from one side of our circuit and then place the other voltage probe all the way on the other side of our circuit and we could measure the voltage difference between those two places as well. But let's think about what we what we think that voltage might be. So imagine we're starting here and then we go down by three feet and then we go down by a further nine feet there that would be a total of 12 feet altogether if we're talking about water. So if we lose 3 volts and 9 volts, we would expect to see a total drop of 3 plus 9 or 12 volts altogether. So that's what I think we'll see when we measure the voltage from this side of the circuit all the way over to the other side of the circuit. Let's run the simulation and find out. And there it is. So we see a 12 volt total drop from this side of the circuit all the way over to the other side of the circuit. So now you've seen how we can add current probes to multi-SIM to measure current. We remember that current is always measured at one point at a time. You've also seen how we can add voltage probes. And since voltage is always measured as a difference between two places on the circuit, when you add a voltage probe, you need to add a reference probe as well so that you are telling the circuit which two places um, you want to use when you're measuring the, the difference between those two places. So that's how we measure voltage and current in multi-SIM.